thrillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fight of me, I have thrilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now. We'll see how it goes forward here tonight. All right, so here is the UFC superstar Paige Van Zandt. She's about as classy as it gets. Injuries have become part of the narrative, at least recently here. She'll try to get on track here tonight. Yes, Paige Van Zandt is a star, right? The magnetic personality, the big smile. She lights up every room she steps into. She's just a person that you want to be around because you know she's exuding happiness. But that's until she goes into an octagon. When she gets into an octagon, she is nasty. A fighter's fighter, a person that's willing to go out there and just let it all hang out, even in defeat you see the toughness of Paige Van Zandt. She had a huge win by submission over Rachel Ostovich. That was January of 2019. Seems to have the arm injuries in check. We'll see how it goes for PVZ here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, Meatball Molly McCann! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon, 12-gauge Paige Benson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, here we go with round one, the classically trained striker versus the Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. And a lot of people believe if she can get off with the hands here early, it could be a quick night at the office. Yes, yeah, she has to use her hands. She has to be fast and has to really make a point to not be kicking too much because this jiu-jitsu player, this lady, this female who has a black belt in the highest order will be trying to time those kicks to use them to lead into takedowns. She's got to fight behind her jab, fight behind the hands, and make sure she does not get reckless because the moment this fight hits the floor, this is where the jiu-jitsu fighter wants to be. Nice leg kick lands. Big kick lands. Van Zandt's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Well, clearly she wanted to get this fight to the ground to try to fatigue the striker early. Mission accomplished so far. Mission accomplished. Even her team couldn't have imagined that it would work so early in the fight. Great timing on that takedown. All right, she's got north-south position now, DC. We don't see a lot of north-south chokes in the UFC, but what is she trying to do here from what is a dominant position? Well, you know, it's, it, the north-south choke is very difficult because everybody is so well-versed in submission defense now. Right. But if done the correct way, it can happen. But you hit that north-south choke, hope that your opponent turns to their knees so that you can run to the back, try to get your hooks in, or you can attack guillotine when they go to their knees. Back, 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 back. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Looks like she's trying to set up a submission now. Let's take that arm home with us now. All right, she postures up here, nicely done. 
Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. Looking for the finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Under two minutes to go. Van Zandt gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Nice leg kick there by Van Zandt. Again, in the clinch. Nice punch there by Van Zandt. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. So beautiful level change leads to the table. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving. Van Zandt's looking for that arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Side control now, maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her here. Now, in the side control, you may feel like the bottom person that you have a lot of out, but there is a lot of danger in those positions, too. A lot of danger in the knees coming your way. A lot of danger in the choke. So you have out, but you're also constantly under duress from a great top fighter. Big punch land. Nice straight there by Van Zandt. All right, both women now continuing to try to get a more dominant position here in the clinch. I can hear Dominic Cruz just screaming underhooks. My ears are bleeding a little bit. Yeah, underhook, underhook, underhook. It's the key in that position. You've got to control the underhook to win offensively and control the underhook if you're trying to escape defensively. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out Ready over. Of course, the five Ready. minutes. All right, second round underway. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Big kick lands. Oh, big punch land. <laughs> big power shot there. She missed with that jab. Big kick land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice counter with the hook shot there by Van Zandt. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Van Zandt gets the takedown. Now let's see what she can do with it. Ooh, big shot, oh. man. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Right hook attempt, but she misses. Oh, straight right. 
Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving into the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments here. Oh, what a punch. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Van Zandt. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting a one-two. What about the one-two? What about the one-two-three? How about an uppercut following the three strikes? Allow them to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Oh, window of opportunity there. She moves to her back. Nice knee to the body there by Van Zant. Ooh! Lands a huge right hand. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, and there's another nice kick. Solid kicks across the board from her tonight. I mean, she throws the kick without any wind-up. There's no tell to when she's coming. Big kick. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And she's doubling up on the jab there. Trying to kick the leg out. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. Oh, that left eye of hers really starting to show signs of bruising. Head kick lands. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Van Zandt. Man, how good is her offensive wrestling? I'm not sure if she's putting on a show because the Olympian's calling her fight tonight, but every time, essentially, she has gone to the takedown, it's been there. Yeah, she's done a fantastic job of entering into the takedown over and over again, getting her opponent to raise her hand with strikes, dropping down on the legs, getting great... Oh! Long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here, just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Van Zandt gets the takedown here late in the round. It's a strategy you see from a lot of high-level fighters to try to sway the judges late in the round. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions. Going for an arm bar now. Oh, oh saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. And they separate. Nice punch, man. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Oh! 
timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Look at the turn oh. in that kick. Back to the feet. So again, they will clinch here. Well, she's already landed several big takedowns, and there's another one. So you gotta like what you're seeing here. This offensive wrestling is on point. It's unbelievable. The variety of takedowns is what I am truly a fan of. It's not just one thing. She is doing different approaches, different takedowns to really, really confuse her. Oh, huge right hand! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Beautiful kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Back in the clinch now. All right, so in the last round, she was able to take her down at will, and there it is again. So new round, same narrative as she secures another takedown. What a great job of changing her. Van Zant's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, nice job by her. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, and with urgency, she is back up again. Real sneaky body kick. Man, look at the redness almost immediately on the right side of her body. Oh! You can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Back to the feet. That will land it clean. Oh, big left hook there. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown be? I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. So we've hit the century mark. 100 total strikes have now landed for Paige Van Zandt. Landing with 64% accuracy against Paige Van Zandt. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. And this could change the fight. Another takedown land. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. What a... Oh, she nailed the double leg take down there. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, she blocks the punch. Oh! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? 30 seconds now to go in the round. Again, back into this position. And she's got the double leg takedown. Now trying to trap it on. And attack an armbar. Oh, she slams into the ground and with authority right there. So that's certainly one way to fend off the armbar, lift your opponent up, and slam her to the ground. Well done. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. All three judges scored this contest 29-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Meatball Butler! Macau!
a pretty clean effort out of her, really, from the opening horn tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And as a fan, you understand how important this is in the evolution of someone's career. She did a great job of staying focused, staying the course, and getting the unanimous decision.